felt more so in the Ottawa area where one woman told us items were rattling for quite some time and the dog wouldn't stop barking. The phones began lighting up in our newsroom just before 10 o'clock this morning. Viewers from Barrie, Midland, Wasega Beach and Mount Albert said they felt the earth move. And in downtown Toronto... I just felt my chair rocking back and forth and um, yeah, and I was just kind of wondering what that was and then I went on Facebook and saw a bunch of people stating that there was an earthquake. Oh, I felt my chair move a little bit, but only for maybe a second. And so I woke up to my bed shaking. Wow. Yeah. What, did you, what did you think? Uh, I don't know. I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe my building was just a little uh, uneasy, but uh, I guess it was an earthquake. I didn't know. I thought someone was moving furniture above me in my apartment building. According to Earthquakes Canada, a magnitude 5.2 quake hit an area northwest of Ottawa at 9.43 this morning. It was felt in the Ottawa Gatineau area and as far west as Toronto and Waterloo. A 5.2 earthquake is considered moderate on the Richter scale. The host of CTV's question period said he felt it in Ottawa. There was a little bit of a, a rippling on the floor underneath your feet as you went by and you sort of go... Did, did, you know, did, did the cement ground just move? And in fact, it had. Here's a geophysicist from the U.S. Geological Survey. We've had a lot of reports that this quake has been felt widely throughout the Lake Erie region, um, into western New York, and even down into Michigan. We're getting calls here in the newsroom uh, up the Ottawa Valley that uh, lots of uh, uh, paintings fell off window, uh, off walls. Um, people walking on the streets, you know, the higher up you are sometimes in buildings, the more you feel it. Uh, if you're in a car, you don't feel it at all. Commonly, quakes in the eastern, nor in eastern North America are felt very widely. The reason is because the rocks underground are very old and they're very continuous. So they transmit the seismic energy really well and people can feel even small earthquakes far away. And so far, no injuries or serious damage reported. I remember the last earthquake we felt here. It was so subtle that many people didn't even notice it. But by afternoon, I saw a T-shirt in downtown Toronto that said, I survived earthquake Toronto. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see that again today.